back to another video on my channel. For today's video, I'm going to be doing a get ready with me for New Year's Eve. And this video is actually in collaboration with Wake Up and Makeup. I absolutely love this brand. These are a brand of magnetic eyelashes and they are just absolutely wonderful. The packaging, first of all, is so cute, but they just really give you a nice, like, done up look without being way too overdone. As you guys know, like I used to use a lot of fake eyelashes every day and then I kind of wanted to tone that down a bit. I started getting lash extensions. That still ended up being a little bit too much for me on like a day to day basis. And that's when I just kind of decided to embrace my natural lashes. I used a Rodin and Fields Lash Boost Serum to straighten them and grow them long. And I used that for a few months and the results of that were actually on phenomenal but we're not here to talk about them unless they're paying me which they're not <laughs> this is for more of like a night out look or when i just want to enhance my eyes a little bit more um than usual because usually i just put on some mascara and i'm good to go so i'm going to do a quick little get ready with me for new year's and show you guys how i use the wake up and makeup lashes and how easy they are to apply they're really great because you don't have to you know use glue so they're mess free and it's just super easy to take on and off at the end of the night. It kind of looks like bad now because it's been a little while, but this morning I curled my hair like normal and I just took like a few random pieces and like crimped them because I just kind of wanted to do something a little bit different and more fun. It's 2020, the roaring 20s. Um, they had crazy cute little hairstyles with the little crimped bangs and stuff like that. And I'm trying to dress like Roaring Twenties and bring the Twenties back for the night. It's gonna be so much fun. When I think of the Roaring Twenties, I think of lots of glitter and glam and full face and just classy partying look. So that's the look that we're going for today. We're going to start with a little bit of Shine Killer Primer because I do get like a little bit oily right here. Next up, we're going to put on a little bit of foundation, and I'm going to be using the Tarte Face Tape Foundation, and I wear Fairlight Sand. Yes, I am a freaking ghost. Then we're just going to use a little bit of the same um, Tarte, and it's the Shape Tape Concealer. And I put a little bit under my eyes, nose right here, a little on the chin. I have red circles here, pimple there. So now that I look like a ghost, I'm going to take this, and it's Gigi Gorgeous, and it's the Six Gold Turnt. And I just like to darken up, or I guess bronze my face with this. And then I have this little brush, and I don't actually know exactly what it's for, but it's Moda Pro. And it says glow, so it's definitely for highlighting, but I'm going to use it for this because I just kind of like it. Okay, so now this is the fun part. This is where it starts to get a little bit glittery. I don't actually have any highlighters, so that sucks. I have this um, Glitter Goals by NYX, and I've rarely used it, so I don't really know how it's going to come out. This is kind of a little experiment. Um, I would actually do that first of all. First, I'm going to use this cute little 24 karat Indians by Maybelline, and I've used the heck out of this stuff, so I'm kind of running out of colors, but I'm going to use this little like light pink one, and I'm probably going to put more stuff on top of it anyway, but I just want like a little bit of a shiny base, and I know like you're supposed to do your eyeshadow before your face makeup, but honestly, I always, always, always forget. <laughs> And then for eyeliner, I'll take like a small little, it's an eyebrow brush, but I'll take it on the black eyeshadow and then I just kind of use that to kind of draw like a smudgy like wing and then kind of fill it in. I used to be a fool for liquid eyeliner and I was actually really, really good at it and people would always compliment and ask me to do theirs for them. Let's see how this guy works out. It's a NYX Glitter Goals, and I think I bought it one time for a music festival, and I think I tried it, but I don't remember if it was really like working or not. I'm gonna take like the small end of my eyeshadow brush. I'm gonna mix up the silver and then like the gray. Oh, okay. All right, hold on. You know what? 
This is better than I thought. I'm gonna go grab my mirror right now. So I try and do the ends like on the shape of like how my eyeliner goes so it's not like completely round. Ooh, girl! <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and put on these eyelashes. So the lashes come with applicator like this. That helps you put them on more easier. And it's a very sturdy one. It's not a clumsy plastic one. It's actually made of metal because they're magnets. Okay, so what you're going to do, you're going to attach the eyelash onto the top of the applicator. And then you're going to take the three bottom pieces. They have them labeled. Now remember, these are not like bottom eyelashes. This is the bottom of the row that it's gonna clamp onto. So there's three that go under your lash and one long one that goes above it. Okay, let's do this. Okay, so I've got the first one on and now I'm about to try and do the other one. Um, these things are kind of hard to get the hang of at first, so sometimes you might even find it easier to just kind of like use your fingers to place it. So do it that way, I'm just gonna balance it on my normal lash. I'll grab one inside and I'll just kind of hold it still while I swoop in underneath until it magnets. I think they look super cute. Finish the rest of the look real quick. Total Temptation Maybelline Pin. It's as good as the expensive stuff for reals and it lasts a long time. And honestly, it takes me like five seconds to do my eyebrows. I don't put too much into them. Maybe I'll do a little more since I'm doing like a full glam look, but also I'm not gonna walk on the outside as well. The most important thing, people, after you do your eyebrows, please, please, please brush them through one final time, especially on the front tips right here. <sighs> it's like a pet peeve of mine to see people with more eye makeup on the front than on the sides. Like the sides are very important too. I'm going to use the Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay In Place Pencil. And then I'm going to be using this beautiful shade. It's called um, Pure Color Envy. Wow, I'm so envious. No, I'm just kidding. Um, I really like this shade because um, it's kind of like simple nude, not too much over the top, but it, it's shiny. Like it has little sparkles in it. Okay, so that is actually it for my makeup. You guys should definitely try out these lashes because they're super simple and easy. And then at the end of the night, you can pull them off and they're not damaging to your real lashes like lash glue is. But before I stop talking, we are going to put the finishing touches on this look. I have these beautiful earrings that I've got, and I've been dying to wear these. I bought these, you know those things that are just so cute, but you buy them and you have no reason that you're going to wear them? Well, this is when we're going to wear them. Oh, let's see how the hair kind of turned out. So, like I said before, I had it, I wanted to make it kind of like a little bit crazy. Um, so I did the normal curls, but then I put, came in and put some like random little crimpy pieces, like there and I was kind of going for like not only the 20s vibe but also like Serena on Gossip Girl vibes like Blake Lively vibes okay and before you go let's go find something to wear I'm honest I'm a little bit lost now but somehow I don't want to be anywhere else. I got this set that's forever 21 and I just absolutely love it because it's just all sequins and I'm going to be it with this fur jacket that I've had for absolute ever. I just never have enough opportunities to wear it. It's definitely giving me a bit of a roaring 20s vibes, but I'm also going to be pairing it with these strappy heels. I think that these look really great with it. Um, gold, nude, black. Super simple, but super cute. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this look and definitely go and check out Wake Up or Makeup. I hope you all have a fantastic New Year's Eve, and I will see you guys in a future video. Bye, guys.